Hey guys, James Lee here again with another mukbang. I'm super excited. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to this video and let's get started. So I have a very special guest today. It's actually my mom. As you can see, she's not physically here right now, but she created one of my most favorite Vietnamese dishes uh, that I can even think of. It's called Ban Seo and I'll explain what that means, but let me get a close up view of it and it literally translates to sizzling cake and that's pretty much how uh, it's prepared there's oil um, it's a rice flour mixed with turmeric some other spices coconut milk um, and it's kind of like if I had to describe it in another food very similar to a crepe or omelet but much crispier and much more savory and one of my favorites and it's usually uh, eaten with like a bed of vegetables so we have some lettuce here I think these uh, these other herbs are just staples to Vietnamese foods so I'm actually not sure but there's one that's you know purple You've probably seen some of these when you've eaten pho in the past um, and of course you can't eat bun xeo without some of uh, the fish sauce and I'll try my best not to spill it. it smell, smells so good. There's um, carrots and some other spices in there that's very delicious. So I'm going to start digging in. I um, have my coke here so super excited. When my mom called me today and said she was making Bun sale. It's literally one of the dishes where I'll drop all my plans that I have and make sure that I make sh get a way to eat to it. So all right, so let's set this aside. All right, so I'm gonna actually open one for you to see very quickly. So it's um, when it's prepared, there's usually um, bean sprouts and then there's shrimp and thin slices of pork belly. I think I see a little bit of uh, onions in here as well and so it's a labor of love. It takes a lot of work and energy to make this dish so when my mom does make it it's very special. I know it's very difficult. I've actually tried to make this dish once. I've only made it once and it was the last time I ever made it because it's very labor intensive having to um, continuously cook these uh, bun sale like for your entire family so when I picked them up uh, my mom had already fried a bunch I think she made 30 of them so I have three of them here and then usually there's like a bowl set aside because sometimes people like to take some of the herbs and the salad and kind of just eat it as they go some people just dip it straight into the fish sauce so I kind of just mix it up as I go so let's dig in. Get my hands dirty today, but I don't care. Hmm. It's so good. I I'm kind of speechless right now. I can't remember the last time I've gotten to eat this. And it's rare that I actually go out and order it because I'm sure many of you can relate. When mom is able to make a dish, it's hard to like go anywhere else to try to get it. So, mm. very good. So with the lettuce, you can also make like a wrap. So I'll do that right now, so you can see. My mom was actually on YouTube when I was calling her after work and she was just looking up other techniques, other home cooks uh, try to make it super crispy. So I thought that was pretty cool that she was doing her research on that. So then you do this, it gets 
gets really messy, so. There's just a lot of different textures and flavors going on. I didn't like bean sprouts before, but this was, I think, one of the dishes that made me enjoy it much more. Cheers. It's almost Friday. I love drinking Coke when it comes to fish sauce because that fish sauce, it could linger and the carbonation just really helps uh, rid of that, I guess, like by burping and stuff. So if I burp on camera, I don't know if I'll edit it out or not, but probably will. Oh. All right, so let's do this salad business. So you can kind of like just put in just a couple different herbs, like so. Make sure I get everything here. And you can just throw your bun sale straight in there. supposed to be eaten with chopsticks, but one way or another it always turns into finger food for me. So there you have. Isn't that beautiful? Like the, just the yellow and the green and you see that orangey pink shrimp and the white from the bean sprouts. It's just beautiful to look at too. Let me just pour a little bit in. Forgot to grab a spoon. but. Be dangerous drinking this on this napkin that I used. And then you can eat it like a salad. Mmm. Ooh, some of those chili peppers are spicy. I remember one year, my mom asked me what I wanted for my birthday, and I just said, bun sale, please. That would make me so happy. I think when I was a teenager, I could probably eat like five of these. I think three is a little bit more reasonable nowadays. Mmm. So good. I think I need to slow down a little bit. That one I felt like I just inhaled. Like that one didn't stand a chance. I think the worst part about eating bun sale is when you're done with it. So I probably should pace myself. Typically, um, it is considered a good food to eat during um, the winter time because it is a little bit greasier and heavier. Um, but for whatever reason, I. I I'm happy that my mom decided to make it today. So this one, I think I'll just, just do another wrap. Put other veggies in here. It's 
Probably one of the reasons why I like to eat um, lettuce wraps now, I guess. So I've seen different variations of uh, proteins that are put inside bun sale. Um, I've seen uh, ground beef, but I actually prefer just pork belly. It's, uh, you know, that fattiness is just I'm a big fan of that, so. We'll roll this up. It's busting at the seams here, so probably have to get this in quick before it falls apart. I'll use my bowl as a shield oh, cover. You get the point. That's good. So I think different regions of um, Vietnam, and I don't know, my, my family's from uh, the South, so this is like tr tr traditional way um, we would eat it. But I think um, there's a central region called Hue, and they have uh, something very similar, but I think it's called Ban Khoai, and I'm not sure if that is like how you translate it, but I did Wikipedia before I started on this video, and it said, um, that translates to a cake you really like, and so when you say you really like something, that means you cry something. So I've actually been to a Hue restaurant, and I wanted to order this, but I kept saying, oh, I want bun sale, I want bun sale. And then the server would look at me and say, oh, we don't have that here. We would, we have bun, whatever, the bun kwai, kwai or whatever, and I would say, oh, well, that's not what I want. Not realizing that, it's very similar, but I guess there's other qualities that are different. I think it's served like flat, like a flat face. It's not folded. Um, it might be, I think, um, smaller and not as thin. So there's some key differences. Oh. Excuse me. It's very good, Mom. Mm. It's, it's actually a pretty fun dish because you can probably see within the last 15 minutes I've eaten it so many different ways already, so... Fish sauce is good. 
my mom packed me extra, so I will have enough to last. For other meals. It is probably the most excited I've been to film a mukbang because people always ask me what's your most favorite like Vietnamese dish and a lot of times if my friends have never heard of Bun Sale they'd be like I'd, I would describe it and there's only a handful that I've actually been able to like go out and like order and eat with them so I'm really excited to be able to share this today. Going back to um, when I tried making this dish, I think the time that I went to the store until the time I finished cooking like the last uh, bun sale, I think it took me three, three hours. I didn't even make 30 of them. I think I made enough for what a, one package is worth, but it took me forever. So I'm gonna leave it up to the experts be more time efficient. Slowing down when it's it's one of those foods you don't think about getting full eating. Now, typically, if you go out to a restaurant, depending on the restaurant, it's going to range anywhere from, I'd say, 5 to maybe $10, $11. And if a Vietnamese restaurant does have it, have it, um, it tends to be in the appetizer section. So where you find, like, the spring rolls or the egg rolls, if they make it, that's where it would be. I'm so happy right now. I have no idea. So I have been trying to convince my mom to um, be filmed one of these days. This is uh, the closest that we're going to get for now. But hey, I'll take it. I think a lot of you will be happy to see her food. I know I am. See, this is the part where I'm starting slowly to get sad because there's only this like little corner left, but it's okay. You don't want to overdo it, right? This is also the first video I'm filming. I just got a a Joe a Joby. I think that's what it's called. So that's like the tripod that you can kind of bend and twist and change angles. So hopefully this is a better angle to see as I'm eating. It's kind of funny, like I'm just eating these greens, but I have no idea what they are. I can recognize them by looks, but unfortunately, I probably need a lesson in 
how to identify them, and what their names are. That's when you think you've already had your best bite. Another one comes along. Mm. Alright, this is it. To this so if there's other Vietnamese food that you're uh, curious about please let me know in the comment section I'll have to talk to my mom see if she's willing to make any of those other dishes if not you could always buy it but it'll be subpar for sure There's a tiny bit of fish sauce left. Normally, I would slurp it, but I don't want to gross any of you out, so I'll do that off camera. to say because that was so good. Hey guys, so on today's episode I thought I would mix it up a little bit. I've been kind of researching what other people have been eating. I haven't seen anyone uh, really try this classic Vietnamese dish. I was actually in the Westminster area earlier today and decided to pick up some uh, pardon my Vietnamese butchering, but it's called gom tam, which is broken rice, and we'll get started. I, 